Hello Foamers, this is Divyesh Varya, welcome back to DD Fluids. In this tutorial we will learn how to simulate a volume of fluid model based uh, multiphase problem in open form. So without wasting much time let us uh, begin. To start off with uh, what is multiphase modeling? The standard definition says that whenever we have uh, more than one phase available in the problem, it is called multiphase problem. Uh, for example, there could be liquid liquid, liquid gas, gas gas, gas solid and uh, liquid solid phase combinations. Here in this tutorial, our focus will be on the liquid gas based simulation. So for the liquid gas simulations, we have two basic types. One is uh, continuous continuous uh, flow and the second one is dispersed continuous flow. In the first one, we can capture the sharp interface between uh, two phases and there is no fading or dispersed phenomenon is involved. Whereas in the second one, we have uh, one phase getting dispersed into the other phase. Well, not completely, but some portion of it will get dispersed into the continuous phase. So the volume of fluid model that we will discuss uh, is fall under the first category, continuous continuous flow category. So basically, so there are uh, multiple solvers available in the open foam for multiphase simulations. For example, interfoam, two phase Euler foam, uh, intermixing foam, and so on. The interfoam solvers are for the continuous continuous flow problems, and the two phase Euler foam is basically for the dispersed continuous flow problems. Okay, so the outline. First, we will start with a very basic uh, VOF theory, volume of fluid theory. Then we will uh, copy a base case which will fit into our problem statement category. Then we will uh, understand the folder structure and we will see how to initialize the field. Then we will uh, define properties of uh, each phase. And at the end, we will do some post processing in the para view. So, as I mentioned earlier, we will use interform solver. A standard definition says that it is a solver for two incompressible, isothermal, immiscible fluids. So, the Continuity and momentum equation as you can see will be solved during the simulation. The two forces as you can see uh, in the momentum equation are gravitational uh, body force and the surface tension force. Now you might have question that uh, how it will decide where where is liquid phase and where is the gas phase. So for that it will solve an additional uh, equation called volume fraction transport equation. So this is the equation where the alpha is uh, phase fraction of uh, one phase and other phases alpha will be automatically calculated from one minus alpha calculation. So alpha will always stays between zero and one. So basically zero defines one phase and uh, one defines another phase here uc is the compression velocity which will maintain the sharp interface between two phase a weighted average velocity density and viscosity are calculated during the uh, simulation uh, you can search for more theory if you want for now let us move on towards the problem statement so our problem statement is very simple as you can see in the figure we have a water column and we will simulate the problem for an 
air bubble rising so due to the gravity and uh, density difference air bubble will automatically start rising without giving any additional force here we will consider problem for uh, close uh, 3d cylinder and the top face of the domain will be open to the atmosphere so some more data on uh, dimensions are on the screen so the total uh, cylinder height will be 30 mm and 10 mm in the diameter water level will be till the um, 25 mm from the bottom face so top 5 mm will be empty or we can say filled with an air initially bubble will uh, will be of uh, 5 mm in the diameter and it will the center of this uh, bubble will be 5 mm away from the bottom surface so let me the open the terminal uh, now here i'll go into the run folder first and i'll copy a base case so as a base we have a dam break case that we can copy so i'll type this command to copy the dam break case and i will rename it to vof hit enter and if i type ls i can see this vof folder into my run folder go into that vof and as you can see we have 0.org constant and system folders okay so to see the folder structure i'll type ls star so in the zero folder as you can see we have velocity pressure and along with this two we have alpha water so this is the phase fraction of the water and for the air it will automatically calculate uh, from this alpha water values as well so in the constant folder we have uh, gravity g then for the properties we have transport properties and in the turbulence we have a laminar case so we don't need to specify anything so it will be here in uh, laminar case only in the system folder we have all the executable dictionaries so let us start with uh, block mesh dict first so let me clear the terminal so for the block mesh dict we first need to define a cylinder or a pipe so that will be the vertical pipe in the z direction and uh, so i have already given the code files or the link to the this tutorial into the description box so you can check the description box whichever is, is available the code file or this uh, tutorial link you can follow that so i'll go into this uh, terminal let me open the uh, system block mesh dict first and in this block mesh dict from this scale I'll start uh, selecting and till this line I'll paste my new code so I have this uh, code here so first scaling is in the millimeter then we have defined few variables for example height then the radius inner radius outer radius then some calculations is there so height plus cvz so those kind of calculation i have done so inline calculation you can do in the block project file so i'll make a separate video on this how to use this calc feature and how to define the variables for example you can you don't need to define any a middle point for example here i am using cos 45 degrees so any trigonometry based uh, functions are also you can call here 
so that way we we can define the variables and the calc feature so basically our work is very easy now if we want to change the height of our cylinder we can simply change this value and we don't need to do anything in the further code if you want to change the radius we just need to change this value and it will automatically change the radius of the geometry now at the end we have defined the solid walls as a default region so all bottom and side face will become the soil solid wall and the top face is atmosphere so let me open uh, execute the mesh and show you the a final mesh in the pair view so for that i'll type block mesh and hit enter so as you can see on the screen when we type block mesh it will start compiling the codes that we have given in the block mesh dict for example all the uh, simple coding simple math it will compile and it will save into our uh, local folder so this may take the take some time depending on how much coding you are doing in your uh, block mesh dict here we have a quite complex mesh for cylinder so that's why it's taking slightly more time than usual all right so it finishes the block mesh dict execution number of cells are 24000 and we have two patches atmosphere and solid walls now let me create a dummy file with foam extension so that i can open uh my case i can see the mesh into the para view so i'll type explorer .exe dot so from here i can open the case into the para view so by clicking on this apply button i can see the geometry so this is my cylinder that i want to create then if i want to see the folder structure or uh, mesh structure i can use this okay so we have this mesh here o grid mesh and this is slightly coarser mesh but we will simulate with this only okay so this is basically our mesh let me close it okay so now our next step is defining the fields so if you remember from our phases section we need to initialize the field for example uh, currently open foam don't know that uh, we want this half partially filled uh, uh, domain and there is one uh, air bubble sitting inside this uh, water column so to define all these parameters we need to go into the set fields dict and we need to define all these parameters now as you can see here we have a radius of 2.5 mm of the sphere at some height so the height is uh, uh, 5 mm from the bottom surface then we have this uh, 5 mm height of uh, cylinder which is filled with air so this two portion we need to define that this portions are filled with air and the default portion is water so for that first we will define that uh, our entire field or entire domain is filled with uh, water then we will give this two commands that uh, sphere to cell which means at this center point and with this radius we want to select all the cells of the sphere and in this well field value we want to give initialize alpha water is equal to 0 so first we will give alpha water is equal to 1 and for this region make alpha water is equal to 0 which means the alpha water is 0 the 
becomes air same way for the cylinder to sell for the top part which is empty we need to define two points of top and bottom face center of the circular disc then the radius of that uh, face and for that radius uh, cylinder we want to give field value alpha water is equal to zero again it will become air so let me open this uh, file into the notepad let me clear the terminal i'll type notepad.exe then system then set fields click hit enter and as you can see some default values are already there from the temp break case so here we will first set up the default value of the field alpha water now it will become one so initially everything is filled with water now in these regions we need to define our own code that i have already shown you on the uh, slides so i have already copied the codes let me paste it so here i am giving again sphere to cell and cylinder to cell with given code now let me save the file and close it you can pause this uh, portion and you can write this code on your own now let me close it now to define this uh, particular uh, set fills we need to run a command which is set fills but before that we need to copy that 0.org folder to 0 so first if i give ls as you can see we have this folder 0 as 0.org so we need to copy that cp space hyphen r 0.org will become 0 and hit enter now if i type ls there is 0 folder as well all right now let me type this command set fills and let us see what happens and hit enter okay so it is giving me an error that uh, it cannot find field uh, patch field entry for solid walls so first we need to define all the boundary condition correctly and then we can run this command all right so if i go the slides first so we have this uh, phase properties so we will come back to this phase properties later but first we will see the boundary conditions so for each atmosphere and solid walls we need to give the boundary condition now here at the velocity i am using uh, default pressure in that outlet velocity you can use uh, zero gradient as well if if you if you are not familiar with this boundary condition here at the pressure i am using total pressure this is again the pressure uh, based boundary condition and using these two boundary conditions at the velocity and pressure and at the alpha water inlet outlet we can generate something like atmospheric uh, patch now this fish fixed flux pressure is uh, uh, also you can use a zero gradient boundary condition and uh, zero gradient at alpha water for solid walls that's obvious now uh, you can pause this video and you can read out this uh, boundary condition information so these are some of some standard definition of each boundary condition for example pressure inlet outlet velocity will become zero gradient uh, and uh, for the total pressure we have this equation and based on the pressure we will give it will calculate the pressure at the patch and for the fixed flux pressure it will become the zero gradient if uh, the velocity is zero and if we have some velocity it will become it will calculate the flux and accordingly it will define the gradient 
again for the inlet outlet it will define generic outflow condition so let me go back into the terminal clear the terminal and i'll open the files one by one so i'll type not pad dot exe then zero then in the zero we have u and hit enter so this is our velocity file in this file we have left wall right wall lower wall we don't need all this wall we just need solid walls so i'll give solid walls and that is no slip atmosphere will remain same pressure inlet outlet velocity and default faces we don't need this lines and save it and close it now let me open uh, the pressure file so here we have this prgh file and this pressure is not the kinematic pressure it's the uh, real pressure that we want to simulate and here again the left wall will become solid walls and right wall and lower wall we don't need so we can remove this and default patches we don't need here so yeah so this is the final file uh, p0 i'm giving zero and according to this it will calculate the pressure at the patch let me close it again let us open this uh, alpha water so this is phase fraction file and here we will give left wall as solid walls lower wall and right wall we can remove atmosphere will remain same default faces we can remove save the file and close it now let us try running that set fills command again and hit enter so as you can see it is executing and yeah so it says that first it will uh, set the default value for alpha water then it will create a sphere and for that it will set the alpha water value that we have given zero then again for the cylinder it will calculate uh, it will add the cells and it will set the alpha water value as zero okay so let us uh, move on to the uh, phase properties so here we need to define three major properties density viscosity and surface tension so density of the water is 1000 air is one and uh, viscosity subsequently are given here and the surface tension between air and water is 0 0.07 now let me open this file into the constant folder so here as you can see we already have a defined water and air then for the water we have a viscosity rho which is density the same way we have uh, air and for this air we have uh, viscosity and density and the sigma which is surface tension value now here first line is phases so this line is important because here we are giving water first and the uh, air is second so whatever name you give here water that will replicate into your uh, zero folder and into your set fill stick as well so if you are if you want to use your air first you need to change or rename your alpha water as alpha air or any file name you you change here you need to give there okay so let me close this now with this we need to define one more constant properties uh, that is uh, gravity so let me open that file from constant folder yeah 
here as you can see the value of gravity is defined 9.81 into the minus y direction but uh, my cylinder is in the z direction so i need to change it to uh, minus z direction so i'll just give this and change it like this so this will become uh, minus 9.81 into minus z direction into z direction okay so save the file and close it now we have defined all the files but one last thing we need to add here and that is control dict so first we'll start with zero time and we will simulate for 0 0.2 second then we will define three current uh, number and uh, delta t value so maximum current number will be one maximum alpha current number will be one and maximum delta t will be one so because we are using uh, this uh, adjustable runtime we need to define this uh, alpha current number and um, maximum current number to control the current numbers during the simulation okay so let me open that file and here we have this uh, usual application name as interphone and it is starting from zero and let us end it at 0 0.2 right control is uh, adjustable then we have maximum current number, maximum alpha current number, maximum delta t. This last line, sign include, si include, uh, sampling. We don't need this, so let me remove it, save the file, and close it. Okay, so now I can run my simulation, but before running the simulation, as you can see here, we can plot a phase fraction in the domain so what is the phase fraction of water available in our system we can plot it so for that we will use one glu plot script and uh, for that we need to create a file for that so i'll name it phase fraction and let me open it So it's an empty file. So I'll paste a GNU plot script uh, here. So as you can see from the log file, I'll uh, cut this line, cut this uh, F file line. And from phase one uh, name, we want the values. So from a log file, basically, it will take the phase fraction value and uh, we can plot it uh, during the simulation or later the simulation as well so let me save the file and close it now to run the simulation as you know we type uh, the name of the solver and that's interform and to plot the log file we type this uh, angle bracket and log and we give end so that will run this uh, interform uh, solver into the background and it will also write whatever it will simulate into the log file now let me hit the enter button and as you can see it is starting the simulation now to plot the result or the phase fraction value what we can do is we can just write GNU plot and then phase fraction and hit enter. So, as you can see, it is uh, the phase fraction uh, versus uh, iteration values are giving here. So, throughout the simulation, I have a constant value 0 0.810597, and once it is reaching at the top, the fraction of the water is reducing 
so basically that's because we don't have any additional water coming in or additional uh, air coming in into our domain so that's why our phase fraction is uh, basically constant throughout the simulation now let me close this and to see the log file we can simply type tail space hyphen f and type this name of the log file and hit enter so we can see it is printing the result now here if you see on the log file at every time step it is calculating something and the phase one this from this line we have uh, taken the phase fraction values so it is giving 0 0.810595 so basically for each time step it will take this value and we are getting the results so the simulation will take uh, slightly more time uh, for me it took around 5 minutes 20 seconds it depends on your uh, processor and computer computational facility so let me clear the terminal and uh, now we can uh, open our results into the para view so let me open my case and here if i refresh it as you can see at the 0 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.5 so for all this time we have our simulation results now i can open this uh, dummy dot form file and that will open my result into the para view now here you cannot see anything but uh, uh, from here we can open this alpha dot water and now you can see the results so basically it is filled with uh, water till this uh, height and for the top there is air so that's why it's blue and because it is filled with uh, water it's red now to see the inside uh, sphere uh, either we can clip the mesh let me clip it for you right so as you can see here we have the sphere inside this domain and uh, that's basically it uh, now if you want to simulate uh, we want to see the animation we can simply click on this play button I'll uh, go for uh, each frame one by one so as you can see it started rising and eventually it will hit to the surface and it will merge into the top atmosphere so that's it or our simulation but here if you want to see the better result if you want to do the better post processing you can delete this clip and from this uh, dummy dot form let me go to the first time step and uh, from here you, you can click on this contour and from this contour by alpha water just define it to 0 0.5 and click on apply button so that will show you the surface of both uh, this uh, region now let me enable the previous one as well dummy dot form and from here i will click on the feature edges or let me click on the uh, let's say wireframe yeah from here let me change it to okay solid color and this one become so now if i go with animation
as you can see it started from here and it goes rise up and it will merge into the final top layer now if you plot result for uh, more time step you will get this finer animation as you can see on the screen so basically we have sharp interface at the uh, sphere of the bubble and we also have the sharp interface at the top of the uh, surface of the water column and throughout the simulation it is maintaining the sharp interface for the between two faces so that's all about the volume of fluid model if you want this uh, presentation you can join my telegram channel dd fluids there i'll upload uh, this uh, presentation and some more learning materials you can also connect me through linkedin and uh, instagram you can subscribe to this youtube channel with this stay healthy stay fit see you in the next video